Hi everyone, today's angle is going to be slightly different. Um, do let me know in the comment box if you are okay with it or if you prefer the um, the the previous angle. So yesterday I have filmed a video about getting ready for Inktober. So if you don't know what it is, it's basically um, October month where you paint every um i made a little list here um every day of the october month you just pay paint with inks and you get um a prompt list and for this year the prompt list is this one here which i'll um share in a second so um Basically, uh, a guy called Jake Parker, who is uh, an illustrator and cartoonist, came up with it in 2009 just for himself because he wanted to improve his uh, drawing skills and then it became like a big thing and everyone started taking part, part in this um, challenge and um, apparently it's super fun so I have seen quite a few videos and I would um, recommend for you to do that as well if you want to take part just to get an idea of what people do some people are very very imaginative and um, create really interesting pieces and it's not just about you know I don't know say for example the word is apple you don't just draw an apple but you try to kind of make um, a story um, within within that subject matter so here is what I thought um, I'll just briefly briefly mention it to you because I'm not going to um, upload that video because I'll explain why in a second so I'll briefly show you what I was thinking of using so here is a number of pans um, including Lamari, um, Lamy Safari Fine by the GT, uh, GTAC C4 which is my favorite for illustrating and um, both of those inks are water soluble uh, then Tombow, um, Pigma Micron and Faber Castell I think both of them are um, waterproof and then I have Faber Castell in two colors black and sepia and there is also silver and a gold uniball signo and just um, two more here because the sharpie permanent did bleed through is the only one that bled through so i just i did that swatch list um to see whether the paper could handle it and it handled everything except for the sharpie permanent marker and the pencil brush pen was okay absolutely no bleeding through and sharpie pen in fine as well was um okay which is this one at the bottom here so the way I decided to do it, because some people really concentrate just on the ink and use black ink throughout every single day, but I couldn't do that. It's just a, it's too limiting to me. I do like colour, so I decided to use um, the Prima watercolours because essentially I don't want to bring out my um, expensive kind of artist grade watercolours because I really don't know where this challenge will take me whether you know I will be good at it or not great at it and I just don't want to waste my good watercolours and besides the point I just want to um, start using up my um, student grade um, or yeah, student grade watercolors. So that was the idea behind yesterday's video. However, I um, last night watched some more videos, and um, some people just do their own thing. They don't follow the list, and I was in two minds about it. And at first, I thought um, I want to follow the prompt list. Um, if you want to see it, it's basically, if you Google Inktober 2017 on Jake's um, website, uh, there is, he put it up so you can see it and the rules as well. The rules are very basic. I think there are four rules, which is you, you paint every day, you share it uh, on um, your social media with a hashtag of Inktober and Inktober 2017. And what else is there? Um, have a look, but yeah, it's it's quite basic. So there's nothing really um, anyone can take part, and that's the fun element about it. But 
having thought about it again, words like, I don't know, say filthy and swift and um, squeak and trial and all that, you know, you have to be super... I don't know, I feel, this is my own opinion, I feel that you have to have a certain level of drawing skills and I'm not there yet. I wish I could paint uh, a um, body figure or something like that which I could express, um, you know, for example, the word furious and I could paint that emotional uh, facial expression and things like that, but I'm not there and I know that if I will start doing it there and there without any previous um, kind of um, trials and exercises, I feel that inevitably I won't like it and I don't want to kind of embark upon this um, challenge for, for 31 days every single day and kind of produce something which I'm not happy with. So, I thought I'm going to approach it differently and um, so this year I'm going to be doing a sketch every day for the month of October and I will use inks in combination of um, in combination with um, watercolors and I won't just restrict myself to the Prima watercolors but I will also use um, the Schmincke student grade which is um, great because I can actually start using them up. Uh, I, I've got a video where I compare the Schmincke Academy, which is a student grade, with my Schmincke Horadam uh, watercolor palettes and you can have a look if you want, but basically when I ordered um, this palette I thought it was the um, the artist grade and only realized later. So this has been pretty much sitting um, in, you know, sitting without much use because I love my artist grade watercolors. So I thought that would be great to start using it. And um, the other one I will use, which is here on the right, is the Kuretake um, 36, was it? Let's double check. Yeah, 36 watercolor. Um, this is the Ganzai Tambi set. So. Um, and then I will use the variation of the ink pants that I just showed you. Now, just to, uh, what I want to create essentially is have like a theme running uh, throughout the entire month and I don't want to be drawing like a different thing every day. I don't know, <laughs> I, I haven't chosen that yet. So here is what I'm thinking, either I will draw a random object every day, whatever, um, it could be a flower, it could be a cup of tea, it could be a um, watercolor set, it could be anything, washi tape um, stack or something like that. Every day would be a different object. Or I could go for, for example, a floral theme and do flower every day, which is what I think I would be most comfortable with and would enjoy it. However, if I want to challenge myself a little bit more, I probably would do the other one because that way I would kind of learn, I feel. So, um, what I want to do today is just to um, have a little go. So, I started last night um, and this is what made me think maybe I should do this for the Inktober. So I used my um, Prima watercolors, both sets, the classics and the tropicals, and I kind of incorporated um, the ink pen. This was the Pilot GTAC C4, and, and that's what I came out with. I quite like that sort of style. Um, it's not too busy, but it's it's um, it looks good to me. And so, um, this will be the sketchbook that I'm going to use for my Inktober and it's quite fat and it has a lot of random stuff in here. It's halfway filled so I thought that's a great way of trying to um, finish it up. Um, and yeah, so it's an old sketchbook that I did all sorts of things. There's bits um, of paper sticking out, some collage paper some cutouts and god knows what, it's just random, random stuff. And I think today I want to do a little speed video, if I have time, to kind of um, start 
getting the idea to get off what style I want to go with and do maybe a different flower within that style every single day of October. That's my thinking and we'll see if that's what I will go with. But um, so far I just want to kind of get a little bit into it because it's not uh, October is not that far away now and I want to just prepare myself a little bit. So I'm not going to use the um, paper here. I think what I will do is I will actually use this paper which is the um, Stillman and Burn, um, was it the Alpha? Or I'll put um, down below which um, paper this is, but this is the sketchbook, or the hardcover sketchbook and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and... I just wanted to say that having um, used the Kuretake Kansai Tambi watercolors for this illustration, they behave very different to um, kind of um, a watercolor, a European watercolor that I'm used to. So you don't get these kind of blooms and you don't get um, a watercolor flow when you put one color into another. and they kind of work very different and yeah so it's good to give it a little go before you start the ink tool but just to get familiarized with how the watercolors are working but for something like this they actually are quite good because they are colorful and they are colorful enough to come through um, even though there is an ink element on top so that's good and the other thing is that um, <clears throat> it's got that kind of um, opacity as well let's say um, so it's it's great for inking with it okay so I've finished this little illustration and um, it's quite different it has its own kind of style and I think yeah I'm quite um, I'm happy with this sort of style to go on and um, explore for my Inktober and I actually um, have finished this Micron Pigma 01 pen. It's um, it started to skip a lot and so I think it's done. And yeah, so that is it. I hope you um, enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.